When it comes to starting your own online business, the main fundamental thing that you absolutely need is a website. So in this video guys, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create a website using WordPress in under 10 minutes. So let's go. Before we jump into this video guys, if you could please give it a thumbs up at the end if you enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe as well and ring the notification bell to stay on top of any future uploads. All right, so the first thing that we need when creating a website is web hosting. This is where, where we're gonna be keeping all of our files. So my recommendation guys is to go with Bluehost there. That is my favorite web hosting option right now. So I have a link for this in the description down below. I highly recommend you use that link because you're gonna get this cheap price of only $3.95 per month. So once you've clicked on that link and you're on this website, click this button, get started now. Now you're gonna choose your plan. So for this video, I'm just gonna choose the basic plan right here. You've got the plus option and the prime option. Okay, you're probably not gonna need these yet. You can upgrade in the future if you want, but for now, for this demo, I'm just gonna go with the basic plan for $3.95 per month. So I'll click select on this one. Now this is where we're gonna be choosing our domain, okay? This is your website name, basically, like, you know, what, what people are gonna be typing up the top in the URL bar right there. So for this one, I'm gonna go with this one right here, 10minutewebsitedemo.com. This is available, I've already checked, okay, just to speed this up. Now this is where you're gonna have to pay for it. So on the next screen, guys, I'm gonna pause right here because I'm gonna have to type in all my personal information. So once I've done this, I will unpause and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I paid for the web hosting and the good thing about Bluehost is that it instantly installs WordPress for you. So as soon as you paid for it, you click login, you enter your details, and this is the first thing you're gonna see, okay? This is where you choose your theme. And that's the great thing about Bluehost and WordPress. They work hand in hand together and it's very, very simple. So all we're gonna do here is choose a theme. You can choose whatever one you want. I'm gonna go with this one right here called Astra because I know this one's got a lot of plugins. It's very easy to use. So you can use the same one as me if you want or you can choose another one right here. Uh, they're all pretty good. Uh, it's just depending on your taste. So I'm just gonna, gonna go with this one. So I'll click use this theme. All right guys, everything's been installed. Okay, that free theme has been installed on our WordPress website now. So all we're gonna have to do now is edit it. It's gonna be very, very simple. If you want more customization options and stuff like that, you want a more advanced theme, I'll also have a link in the description down below for themes just like that one, okay? This is gonna be a very basic one because it is free, but I will have a link to some paid ones down below. You can check that out if you're interested, if you want a really, really good advanced theme that you can edit entirely to your liking. So guys, like I said, this has been installed. Now let's just click this button right here, start building. It's gonna take us to WordPress. So we've been taken to the WordPress dashboard and this is it right here. So we can take a look at our website. It's not gonna be anything special just yet because we haven't really done anything. As you can see, there is nothing to it. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do guys, the next step for us is gonna be to install some plugins. So you're gonna click right here, click on plugins, go to add new. And then on here, we're gonna search for, okay, we use the Astra theme. So right here, we're gonna use uh, oh, I spelled it wrong. We're gonna search for Astra. And we're gonna install this right here, Astra Starter Site. So just click Install now. Installed, as easy as that. Then click Activate. Okay, so there we go. So our Astra Starter Site is installed and I'll show you what to do next. So once Astra Starter Site has been installed and activated, we will then be taken to our plugins page where we can manage all of our plugins right here. So we'll scroll down and go to Astra Starter Sites and click on See Library. This is where we're gonna be able to see all, all of the different templates that they have for us. This is where we're gonna choose what our website looks like. So we'll click on Elementor right here. And this is where you can choose, okay? These are all like pre-built templates where it's just gonna be very simple. Just click to edit and type. It's very, very simple. I'll show you in a second. So choose whatever ones you like, whatever theme you like. So these ones that say agency, they are paid ones. They got a bit more customizability. They, they usually look a little bit better. Entirely up to you. I think the free ones look fine though. So for this demo, I'm gonna go with a free one. Uh, I'm just gonna go with this one right here. Okay, it's called Outdoor Adventure. So I'll click on preview here. So this is what our website will look like. If I choose this theme, it'll look exactly like this. And like I said, everything's gonna be customizable, editable. We're just gonna be able to click on things and type in whatever we want. We're gonna be able to change the images. Like I said, I'll show you how to do exactly that in a second. So we're gonna come down here at the bottom left and click install plugins. Okay, so now it is installed and we're gonna click import this site. Okay, so just click okay on here. All right, so it's been installed and imported into our website. So now we can click done view site. This is gonna show us what our new website is looking like at the moment. 
And here we go guys, here is our new website right here. So, like I said, this is what our website now looks like and now is the time to edit everything. So what we're gonna wanna do is go back to the dashboard first of all. All right, so the next step for us is gonna be to edit our front page and it's very simple on the dashboard. You'll have this little area down here, next step. So we're gonna click right here, edit your front page. And this is where this is gonna come in really, really easy with these plugins and stuff that we've installed. It's gonna make it just click uh, point and click and drag and drop. It's gonna be very, very simple. So we'll click this, edit with Elementor. Here we go guys, here is our website and this is where we're gonna be able to edit absolutely anything. So like I said, you just point, click, highlight, delete and type whatever you want. Welcome to my demo website. Okay, so welcome to my demo website. I'm gonna just put my, oh, can I, can I even spell it? Digital Millionaire, I guess my YouTube channel name. So um, I'm gonna put right here, uh, click to learn more. Okay, you can absolutely edit absolutely anything that you want when it comes to this. You can add some stuff here if you want. You can add it all of this down here. You can click here to change the pictures and stuff like that. Absolutely everything is editable using these plugins. That's why it's very, very simple and you can create a website super, super fast using WordPress and using these themes and plugins. All right, so another important thing to know is how to edit your header and footer. So let me quickly show you how to do that. So I'm gonna click update. That's just gonna save everything on here. So that is now updated and it's all saved. Now let's go back to the dashboard. I'll click exit to dashboard right here. We're gonna be taken to our WordPress dashboard once again. So to change our header and footer, we're gonna click this right here. We're gonna go into appearance, click on themes. And right here where, it, uh, where our theme that we're using is installed, we're, we're gonna click customize. All right, so now we are customizing our theme. We're customizing the header and footer on here. You can even change all the colors and stuff right here if you want, change the fonts and everything like that. It's entirely up to you how you want it. Um, it's completely customizable depending how, however you want it, guys. So uh, like I said, you can just click right here, okay? So this says welcome at the moment. It'll come over here. You just click that blue edit button and welcome. Uh, welcome, just another WordPress site. So I'm gonna edit this. Welcome, um, just a demo site for Digital Millionaire. And then that will change right here. Okay, so just a demo site for Digital Millionaire is now changed. Again, you can edit anything that you want up here. Okay, these buttons, you can delete them if you want. You can take some out. You can change what they say entirely up to you once again. So that is the header. And if you scroll down, uh, the footer is down here. So this one hasn't got a lot on the footer. Just got like an address and stuff like that. Um, and again, when you, you can do the exact same thing. You can click here to edit your footer. And then it's as easy as that, guys. So that is how you edit your header and footer. So like I said, we've already edited the, the home page right here. So it now says, welcome to my demo website, Digital Millionaire. I've edited the header, I've edited the footer, and that's a good start on our website. It's already looking a lot better. All right, so now that's done. We've edited our header and footer. We've edited our home page. So I'll just click publish right here, and I'll show you how to add more pages to your website. So we'll go back to the dashboard, and I'll show you just how to do this. So very, very easily, just click on pages right here, add new. So this is where we're gonna be able to add our home, our new page. Well, we're gonna click on this button right here, edit with Elementor. Again, this is we're using the plugin that we installed. So it's gonna be really easy with templates that we can use. You can do it manually yourself if you wanna uh, drag and drop things to wherever you want. So that would just be, you would drag this and add it, okay? Just drag and drop, very, very simple. But I'm not gonna do it that way because I find it a lot easier to just add a template. So click that button, add a template. And once again, guys, we've got a load of different themes and templates that we can use. They are pre-made for us. We're just gonna be able to click, uh, point and click and edit them once again. So choose whatever one you want. Just for this little demo, I'm gonna click on this one right here. So I'm gonna click insert. So this page has now been inserted. And once again, just like our other pages that our homepage that we edited before, we can just click anywhere you want and you can click to edit uh, anything. I don't know why it's in caps lock, sorry. Anything you want. Again, you can click to edit the images if you want, okay? 
entirely up to you how you want to edit. Again, this is, you know, you're going to want to make this look the same as your homepage, make it all look the same, make it all blend in together so it actually looks like one website. I didn't choose like themes that match each other just for this demo, I wanted to make it quick and uh, simple for you. So again guys, just point and click and choose whatever you want. Delete things if you want, okay? Uh, just click wherever you want and click to delete things. Entirely up to you how you want to design it, okay? You can click and delete that, click and delete that, click and delete this bit. Entirely up to you. Edit it to your liking. So it is as easy as that. We are basically done. Once you've edited it to your liking, customize it however you want. You just click publish and it'll be good to go. You can add as many pages as you want and we're done, okay? So you can just click the exit back to your dashboard, add some more pages if you want, but that is it. That is how you create a website in under 10 minutes. This whole thing, apart from, you know, waiting for the, uh, waiting for stuff to load and stuff like that, Okay, waiting for the domain to get activated, all that stuff. It's very easy and you can do this in under 10 minutes. When you're a beginner, this might take you maybe 20 minutes. Okay, if you're pausing this video and watching parts, it might take you 20 to 30 minutes. But once you get the hang of this, you can do this in under 10 minutes very, very easily. So you can click here to visit the website once again. And you'll be able to see now that it is, you know, it's a decent looking website already. I did, barely did anything. That's because WordPress makes it well. First of all, Bluehost made it very, very simple to install WordPress, and then WordPress made it very, very simple to install themes, plugins, templates, all of that good stuff. Very, very simple. That's how you make a website in under 10 minutes. So there we go, guys. That is the end of this video. That's how you make a website in under 10 minutes. It's not as hard as some people might think. It was difficult a few years ago. They didn't have all these themes and plugins that made it this easy, but people don't realize that. That's why I thought I'd make this video just to show you how easy it actually is to build websites these days. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've learned something. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, like I said, and don't forget to subscribe for future content. My whole channel is about starting your own online businesses and making money. So guys, I'll see you in the next video.